Atlanta United closed the Ense saga, and interim coach Rob Valentino rings the changes to pull out a 1-1 draw away at Cincinnati. And the 2021 Tokyo Olympics opened this week, with the U.S. women's national team suffering a surprise 3-0 defeat to Sweden, ending their 44-match unbeaten streak and raising the question of whether this golden generation is beginning to age out. Welcome to another edition of your favorite online soccer show, Atlanta Soccer News Weekly Report. Once again, we'll dissect the latest and hottest soccer happenings in our beloved Atlanta, Georgia region and beyond over the past week. United FC player Jake Mulraney had his red card and one-game suspension lifted after he was sent off against Nashville FC in the 74th minute on Thursday, July 8th that ended 2-2. The review board agreed with all Atlanta supporters and all honest Nashville ones too that Mulraney's saving tackle was perfectly timed and in no way a foul. The decision, of course, came too late to put right the 2-2 scoreline. The decision didn't help us in the next game either, though, as we fell to a 1-0 home defeat against New England on the 17th. But that all fell by the wayside this past Monday as United FC President Darren Eels announced the sacking of head coach Gabriel Ense. This was certainly not a decision we wanted to make at this point in our season, but it was the right one for the club, Eels said. Gabby is a talented coach and is undeniably passionate about his craft in the sport of soccer. We are grateful to him for his service and wish him all the best in the future, Eels added. The club have denied that the decision was based on recent results. According to the Daily Mail and other sources, Gabriel Ense cancelled days off and told players to limit how much water they could drink, prompting club medics and the MLS Players Association to complain about the Argentines' behavior. Ensay joined Atlanta United in 2020 after two and a half years at Argentine club Velez Sarsfield. He led Atlanta United to a record of only two wins, seven draws and four losses and a 10th place current spot for the 2021 MLS regular season. Two-time 2021 United Premier Soccer League, that's the UPSL, Georgia Premier Division champions Kalonji Pro Profile have advanced to the quarterfinals of the UPSL Premier Division National Playoffs after beating Bowling Green FC at the Blanchard Woods Park, Augusta, Georgia, on July 17th. The final score was 8-0, with Kalunji outshooting Bowling Green 21 shots to 8, although possession was roughly even. Their quarterfinal is against Florida Tropics this Saturday, July 24th, at 4 p.m., again at Blanchard Woods Park in Augusta. On Thursday, the United Soccer League, that's the USL, Championship has decided to reschedule the June 30th suspended game between Atlanta United 2 FC and Birmingham Legion FC to August the 4th. In a press statement dated July 13th, the USL Championship said the game will be held in its entirety again at BBVA Compass Field in Birmingham, Alabama. On June 30th, the game between the two teams was suspended due to heavy rain and lightning. Before the suspension of the game, the visiting United 2 were trailing against Legion so this is a chance to have a do-over. Beating the Legion on top of the Central Division will be tough, but United 2 FC, led by their coach Jack Collison, are very focused and determined to win. To beat the Legion, United 2 FC striker Aiden McFadden will need to play to the superb level we know he's capable of during the entire game. Aside from McFadden, Matias Benitez, who netted Atlanta's lone goal in their recent defeat, also needs to play solidly. On the same day, MOBA Upper 90 won the championship of the Atlanta District Amateur Soccer League, that's the ADASL, Division 2, after beating Buckheads SC in the finals last July 11th at the Atlanta International School. MOBA Upper 90 and Buckhead SC fought toe-to-toe -to -toe in the entire game, but in the 113th minute, the former was able to find a hole in the defense and score the winning goal in the match. Aside from bragging rights, MOBA Upper 90 also won a trophy, with their win, MOBA Upper 90 now has a chance to move up to Division 1 of the ADASL. The ADASL, which is now in its 52nd year, was founded in 1967 in conjunction with the creation of the Atlanta Chiefs, Atlanta's first professional soccer team. It was the first league created locally and also became the first and now oldest member of the Georgia State Soccer Association, that's the GSSA. One of its founders, player coach Phil Woosnam, went on to become the North America Soccer League chairman and an inductee into the U.S. Soccer Hall of Fame. Today, the league is recognized as the most competitive, organized, affiliated adult league in Metro Atlanta. 
On Friday, another piece of good news as Atlanta United FC defensive specialist Miles Robinson scored a goal in the United States men's national team 6-1 win against Martinique in the 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup on July 15th at the Children's Mercy Park in Kansas City. Robinson scored a header in the second win of the U.S., who earlier beat Haiti 1-0 on July 11th at the same venue. The U.S. then beat rivals Canada 1-0 on Sunday to take top honors in the group and earn the number one seed in the quarterfinals. That takes place this Sunday, July 25th at 9.30 p.m. against Jamaica. Aside from Robinson, two other United FC players are also part of this year's U.S. men's national team roster for the Gold Cup. Veteran goalkeeper Brad Guzan and young star George Bello. Guzan, at 36, is the most senior member of the team. The veteran United goalkeeper has 64 international appearances, became Tim Howard's backup at the 2010 and 2014 World Cups, and started at the 2016 Copa America. The last time he played for the U.S. was in the 2019 exhibition game against Uruguay. On the same day, the dream of Atlanta United 2 FC to avoid back-to-back -back defeats ended in a nightmare on July 17th at Lynn Family Stadium. The visiting United 2 FC suffered a 2-0 defeat at the hands of Louisville City FC. Coming off a 1-0 defeat against the visiting Sporting Kansas City 2 on their third game at home last July 10th at 5th Third Bank Stadium, United 2 FC started strong in the game. Aside from their desire to eke out a win, United 2 FC were also playing inspired since Atlanta United Academy player Noah Cobb started in his very first professional game at the age of 15. However, the home team was very focused on beating United 2 and were able to get two goals from Napa Matsoso on 54 minutes and Jimmy McLaughlin in the 63rd minute. United 2 FC, who are 3-6-5 with 14 points, hope to avoid three straight defeats when they host FC Tulsa on July 28th at home at Fifth Third Bank Stadium. That's on ESPN Plus at 7.30 p.m. Also on Tuesday, the new interim head coach of the Atlanta United FC has vowed to do his best to reignite the winning ways of the team in the wake of their recent string of draws and defeats. In a media interview, Rob Valentino also revealed that aside from turning the fortunes of United FC around, he will also spend more time and effort to foster a better relationship with his players. I care about those boys in there. I care about the club, Valentino said. I want to see them succeed. I want to see them happy. I want to see smiles on their faces, he added. Mentoring players is not new for Valentino, having worked with the likes of George Bellow and Miles Robinson, who are now part of the United States men's national team. There's more to these guys than just being athletes, he said. Valentino said he's not worried that his position is just temporary, and he is determined to do his best to help the team succeed and develop the team's young players. Aiding Valentino in this effort will be Matt Laurie, who's the academy director, Jack Kimber, who's the first team fitness coach, Ryan Alexander, director of sports science, Liam Curran, the goalkeeper's coach, and Atlanta 2's head coach, Jack Collison, who will assist in joint training activities between the two teams. In the wee hours of Wednesday morning local time, our very own women's soccer star, Kelly O'Hara, and the rest of the Team USA women's soccer team got started in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Sweden eliminated them in the Rio Olympics, and the same team handed them a comprehensive defeat in their first group match in this year's competition, 3-0, ending the team's 44-game unbeaten streak. Despite the loss, the U.S. women's national team remains one of the top favorites to win the Olympic medal. Their next opponents are New Zealand this Saturday, July 24th, and then Australia with the prolific goal scorer and captain Sam Kerr. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching our show this week. Always make it a habit to watch us on YouTube and our other social media channels. And please remember to visit our website, atlantasoccer.news, for the latest and hottest soccer news in Atlanta and its surrounding areas. If you love our show, make it a point to like, comment, and share this with your family and friends. Always keep your spirits high, guys. This is Alan Vaughn saying bye for now. <laughs>